All right, I had to come down in the yard to get into the full sunlight. And what I'm going to be attempting to do is to use the round of this bottle. So I've already tried it out, and it looks like to get in between the two labels, instead of being in an angle like that, it's going to take more of an angle like this. So you can save time always by finding the hottest part of the and I'm using char cloth. Finding the hottest part of the focal point with your finger first. And that'll save you some time. I've got some vessels in the house that uh, are the right shape. All right, it's starting to glow very, very brightly. So we finally, finally got ignition. It's been like it's it's been like ten minutes, but we finally got ignition. I'm gonna get the fire started here, then we'll go back up in the shade on the other work table and proceed on with our experiment. All right, let's head back up to the work table. Go ahead and close this up. I put another handful of uh, twigs on the fire. All right, now we'll see if we can boil water in that wine bottle. I hope it don't end up with a spot like a choo-choo train. Now, here's some red oak. See what happens with it. Yeah, that wind blowing in the feed hole is doing it a lot of good. It's uh 
25 after 12, so we'll call it uh, 23 after 12 when we put it on the heat. We'll see how long it takes to boil. I think it's going to work if the bottle doesn't break. All right, I'm going to start cleaning this mess up. Now it's already boiling. There's water all over the table. I guess you saw it. I didn't get to see it. All right, it's uh, 29. That's six minutes. So it boiled before six minutes was up. I got a pot holder under here. Here's my pot holder. Alright, I'm going to set it down with some wood so I don't crack it. Good night, I can't wait to watch the video back now to see how much of a geyser we had here. chance that we could steep up some coffee. It only takes 10 minutes to steep some coffee. Let's see what happens. Alright, at 1240 we'll pour up some coffee. Coffee's making it do. I wasn't expecting that. We're still going to pour up some coffee here in 10 minutes after it steeps. That's why they call it experiments, isn't it? What an interesting chemical reaction. Putting coffee grounds in there causes it to foam up. 
We'll let one of you scientists out there explain why why it decided to foam up and boil over after we put a tablespoon of coffee grounds in there. I'm going to clean up a little bit. I think I'll wipe that bottle off because it looks so bad like that. <laughs> I think I know why it boiled over. Just the simple fact of me dumping that those coffee grounds in there so quickly, it sealed it off enough to, to build the pressure back up and boil over. So the coffee grounds acted like me putting a lid on it. taste test. The last uh, coffee making video that I did I said well after I had it all made and I poured my chocolate flavored cream ore in there I said well I'm gonna go in the house and enjoy it but on this one we definitely have to do a taste test to see if I ended up with something too bitter to drink. So we've still got five more minutes on the steep. I'm going to pour a little bit out here first. It looks right. Boy, that bottle's hot. It looks right. I'm going to have more than a cup full. No? That's just about perfect. All right, let's put a little bit of creamy chocolate coffee made in there. That boy has some good stuff right there. Now, good color. While that's cooling down a little bit, I want to take this in the house and wash it in the sink and see how much of that staining is on the outside, which I would think most of it is, and see if there's any staining on the inside. So we'll come back and do the taste test. And I'll show you what the bottle looks like. Yep. All that staining was just on the outside of the bottle. Some pretty tough labels to withstand all that fire and to withstand me scrubbing. That's Muscadine Wine, Hatteras Red from the Duplin plant. It's a North Carolina wine. Hatteras Red. So, the main thing we learned is yes, you can boil water in a wine bottle. Well, this particular wine bottle you can. Now, did we ruin the coffee? Let's give it a try. No. It tastes the same. It's good. All right, y'all. I appreciate you joining me on this experiment. We'll catch you on the next one.